what's going on guys we're back at it with another one and today we are back in the everglades look around you back to this spot that you see me the last couple of videos take a look at this look how high it is all right the last time we fished this spot i was able to walk down to the bank right over there and look how high the water is that's how much rain we've gotten down here in southwest florida quite a bit that it's starting to flood over the conditions are absolutely perfect to look for some snakes. I think we'll have some good luck this evening into tonight. The roads are wet. It has rained off and on a little bit today. So the roads will probably stay damp into the darkness, which will provide the perfect conditions for the snakes to come out to cool off from the hot 90 something degree day we had today. So let's see what happens. Uh, we are starting our evening slash nighttime snake expedition. I've actually been driving for like two or three miles looking and I totally forgot to even mention it, but we are on a snake hunt and let's see what we could find out here this evening and tonight. We finally got our first snake. Let's see what it is. And it is just a regular old water snake again. And this regular old water snake. Don't know what's going on out here. Haven't seen a water moccasin in a while. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen a water moccasin. Uh, I'm just curious why. It's just all water snakes out here. Where's the moccasins at? A very cool first snake of the night. And there's a car coming, so we're going to make sure we get him off the road. We got our second herp of the night, and it looks like a little turtle of some sort. We got here little mud turtle. Pretty cool. He's clammed up in the shell. We do have a car behind me. There's, again, a bunch of cars out here. And we're just going to move this little guy right off the road so he doesn't get run over by the car behind me. Thank you, little guy. And he was going this way. So we're gonna aim him this way. See a little dude? And I need to get back in because there's a car right behind me. All right guys, I think we found our next snake here. Looks like a little thing, little snake. And yes, it's just a little banded water snake. Oh, got a mosquito in my eye. Look how cool he is, just a little guy. Come here, little guy, come on. Don't bite me. Calm down. There he is. Just a little banded water snake. I don't know if I can really get this in film. I'm filming myself. He's just coiling up in my hand. Just a little tiny snake. And we're going to get him off the road here in a second. And the cool thing is I just met a state python hunter out here. And we talked for a little bit. He gave me his number. Well, he gave me his business card. I already contacted him just in case. I saw a python out here tonight. I'll give him a buzz so he can catch it and we'll get it on video and he said he would like to do a video with me so hopefully in the future you will see me with Kenny the snake hunter out here catching some pythons time to get this little gem of a snake off the road one more cool look at him there he has little tiny little nope rope not really a nope rope it's non venomous so just a little rope and we're gonna place him over this way right here look how cool that little snake is and there he goes he's already off nice third reptile of the night let's see if we could find some more let's see if we could get this on film i'm just making sure I'm not stepping on water moccasins i don't know if you could see it on the camera or not 
Probably not, but right out there, there's an alligator. There's an eye shine. Oh, there it is. Every once in a while, we're getting a glimpse of it. There it is. There it is. That eye shine, that's an alligator at nighttime. That's what their eyes look like. Pretty cool. Besides that, you have to tell people do not feed the alligators or get arrested. Pretty unbelievable. That's pretty common sense not to feed wildlife. Um, and they actually have to put these signs out here because people come out here, feed these alligators, like the one that's over there, and they become super aggressive towards people. Alligators naturally are not aggressive towards people. They're more scared of you than you are scared of them. So their natural instinct is to flee. But when you start feeding alligators like that, they associate people with food and they approach people and alligators can't say, hey, I want a snack. They come up at you with their mouths open and yeah, not good. So do not feed alligators, do not feed any wildlife. Just admire them from a distance like I am right now. And let's continue on. So we got another snake. How about that? Hopefully it's not another just water snake. It's kind of sitting like one, I think it is. Yep, we just got another water snake. Man, there's a ton of these things out here, huh? How about that? And Listen to the surroundings here. A whole bunch of pig frogs and other frogs going off. Pretty cool out here. Very cool, another water snake. We're just gonna get them right on off the road. And we're gonna move on. There is a raccoon. He was just up there. He is, maybe you could see him, maybe not. He's kind of paralleling me here. Where'd you go? I just saw his eye shine. Come out of the bushes. Come out of the bushes. There he is. See him? There he goes. Right alongside me here. Trouble to pain. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna continue on and see if we can find some more snakes. Here is a dead invasive species and see how it's turned upside down and it's eaten from the stomach out. This is a invasive catfish from the Amazon and some weird insects. Right? Um, these are commonly known as plecos. You ever have a fish tank as a kid? You know a little algae eater fish? Well, that's what this is. It's from the Amazon. It smells horrible, but listen. Hear that? Just another invasive species here in South Florida. And we're gonna continue on and hopefully see something really cool. Well guys, we're just about to the end of our adventure. It's just before 11 p.m. at night. Um, I traveled close to 100 miles of this dirt road. I'm not even kidding. I don't know if you can see that right there. It says 95.6 miles. So close to 100 miles of this road. We actually do have like a mile left, um, but I already see highway traffic up ahead. So it's just maybe just under a mile left of this road. But anyhow, guys, I like to ask guys to like this video and hit the subscribe button to this channel. I am getting closer and closer day by day to monetization. Um, nothing is cheap anymore. All this camera equipment, the gas that I use to get down here, to drive around 100 miles of dirt road just to try to get a video out there is a little costly. Subscribing to my channel does not cost you a single penny whatsoever. So please hit that button, give a thumbs up to this video. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video and my friends, Always stay fishing, and we'll see you on the next one.